friends, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to review the Malco Steelbook Protectors. I bought these from Amazon. They are in the description, so I left a link. It is an affiliate link, so if you do buy something with those links, I will get a percentage, a small percentage, which helps the channel. All right, so Malco Protectors. These are gonna be the Steelbook Protectors. Here's one already completed. Let me try and zoom this out a little bit. They have a tab. Let me see if I can focus that a little bit better. There you go. So you see that tab right there? That's the difference between a Malco and a Steelbook Central. Steelbook Central does not have that little tab, which leaves this to be a little bit wobbly there. I mean, once they're on your shelf, they're going to be pressed against each other, so that's not a bad, bad deal. Now, the other ones from Steelbook Central are these that have the open face for the spine. I'll leave all of these in the description. So let's see how easy it is to make and do one of these. So what I'm going to do, which I prefer to do, is I go ahead and take this plastic off. So I take this plastic off and expose the protector just how it is. And that's how it's going to go on my shelf right now. So we throw that away. <clears throat> now, next step I do is this crease right there. I bend that over. Flip it over, bend this one. Give it a nice little go. So it's a nice sharp bend. There you go. Now, next step I do is I bend these tabs inward. Now that it's kind of straight, I go ahead and I Fold these, so this one's nice and stable, this is in. I fold this one in. It's a little tricky, and I'm doing it via the camera. And then fold that crease in there. So I have a nice crease. I'll show it again on this one, see if it's easier. Try to put it in there. And then try to fold it where it doesn't completely bend because these are this is a tough plastic which is good but it's bad for <clears throat> ease of use for that all right then i flip it over and now the box is almost formed so now i just bend these you'll see right there so what i did is i was bending this part right here to get a nice crease all right now i'm going to form one of the sides like so and not completely close it and then i have to orient myself and i'm going to put this transformer so let's see how it fits it's going to bring the j card so this is the the old version of what I used to do to protect it. I my still books I'm moving away from this. I'm still gonna use these for the regular just regular ones, the regular uh, DVDs, Blu-rays. This fits DVDs and Blu-rays because it's super dusty where I live. Super dusty. I clean every week but I still get dust. A lot of it every week. So Moving away from this is just too much noise. It's, I, don't, I didn't like the aesthetics of it. So now, what do I do? I am very particular with how I want my stuff to look. So, I want my spine to be fully visible. You notice here, there's no seams. And here, we have a seam running down the... Let's see, right, let's play something. right there, you see that? I don't want my spine on this side. 
I want my spine on this side. I also don't want the flap to be in front of the cover. I want nothing but the cover. So I have to orient myself a couple times and then yeah. So let's try and put this one with this J card thing imaging. And the struggle is real, people. There we go. Nice. You see, that's why I didn't fully close it there because sometimes it's a little bit of a struggle. Flap goes in there. Nicely secured. I should secure these. Pull the flap. Nice little bend on there. Make sure it goes in nice and even. So you have to give it a little wiggle there. Verify that. Adjust. And there it is. So now it's nicely tight. And let's see, did I do that correct? Nothing here. The flaps are on the back. That seam is here and it's seamless. Aha. You see that? Because the seam is there and we already have a natural, you know, separation in the steel book. So it looks good. Looks perfect. Look at that. And that makes your steel books look much better. Difference between a Malco and a, you know, steel book central. Well, it's minimal. It's just a flap pretty much. So let's see. These are Malcos. This, obviously, you're going to notice the difference because it's open. And this is a Steelbook Central. They're the same dimensions. Let's put this one between. All right, so the Star uh, Terminator Genesis is Steelbook Central. Edge of Tomorrow and Transformers are Malco. Do you guys see any difference? I do not camera there you go i don't see any differences so what's the the main you know difference the main difference is going to be price you can look up steelbook central what's better for you is going to depend on where you live if you live in the u.s so maybe malco will be better because of the shipping you can buy them through amazon i'll leave the link steelbook central if you're in europe uk then the shipping is going to be less and probably better for you also, Malco uh, carries a whole bunch of other stuff, and Steelbook Central pretty much is focused on Steelbooks, old school Steelbooks, your one clicks, all the other big premium ones. Steelbook Central has them. Malco, I have not seen for the other things, but Malco has Funko Pop, it has retro stuff. There's also another company that has retro stuff, which I have not bought any protectors. Well, if I do buy them, I'll you know do a comparative review on them but i just want to show and review these i really like them price point is pretty good shipping was good the plastic is way way better than than this so between malco and steelbook central it's pretty much the same just you know different different functionality and how they they assemble them and all that but pretty much same materials same thickness it feels like too and they're gonna absolutely protect your steel books and do a banging job out of it so if you like this video guys please give it a thumbs up please think about subscribing if you want me to review something else please let me know remember the stores are closed so I'm trying to get some videos out and make them at least useful so that is it for today guys thank you very much if you liked it, please give it a like, please give it a thumbs up, and please comment. Tell me what, what you think about these. All right. Thank you, guys, and bye-bye.